All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more waterfowl patterning. And I've got a combination out here today that I'm definitely curious to see what it can do. We've got a new choke and a load that has shown some promise. So will we see a good pattern today? I definitely think there's a chance. So for the setup we've got out here today, I brought out my Remington 1187. However, I picked up this choke. This is the Avian X Crusher Heavy Modified Passing Range Waterfowl Choke. And it says on the box that it's good for that 40 yard range. So we'll definitely see what happens here. It is the heavy modified constriction and it does have that straight rifling. I don't know if you can see it down in there, but it does have the straight rifling and stuff like that that these Avian X chokes are known for. So I'm definitely curious to see how this heavy modified avian x waterfowl choke does and for the shell i've got out here today i brought out some of the winchester expert waterfowl loads it's been a little while since we've seen these but they have shown some decent promise on the channel they are a 12 gauge three inch ounce and a quarter of steel number twos moving about 1400 feet per second but as for today's test everything is the same as we usually do it i have the duck target set up at 40 yards I also have the chronograph, so we'll be able to get our speed and see how close it is to the box velocity. So let's get you guys to view this target. I'll head up and take the shot. We'll look at our chrono real quick, and then we'll go down range and see how they actually performed. This should be a pretty good combination from what I'm guessing right now, but let's head over here and shoot it and see what we can get out of it. Okay, so that shell gave us 1387 through the chronograph. The box was claiming 1400, so I'd say we're pretty much right there where they're saying we should be. Now, I prefer my loads above the 1400 feet per second mark when it comes to waterfowl stuff, but 1387 would absolutely do the job out to 40 yards. So I wouldn't say we have anything too unusual up here anyway. We're right about what the box is saying, but how did it actually shoot down range? Let's go take a look and see. All right, so now we're down range here at our 40 yard paper, and this is what we got. Now, would we have had a dead duck? Yes, I believe we would have. Now, he might have flapped his way on down out of the sky, but we do have a couple through the wings and a couple in the body there, so probably would have been good enough. But backing up here, as you can probably already see, we have a really interesting looking pattern. Now, it almost kind of looks like we hit low and right over here, but I don't really know. I mean, we have splotchiness all the way up around the top here in random little spots. Down along the bottom over there, we have some splotchy pellets and as you can see there's grass on the bottom of this paper here because we had a couple pellets scrape the ground right down in here in front of the target as well so on this one definitely a little bit weird looking we might have been a little bit low and right but i don't really know either way i'm definitely not super impressed with this performance at all as of this particular shot i would not take this out as my duck setup or goose setup or anything like that even if we were a little bit low and right and this is our actual core area over here. As you can see, we do have several big voids just above and below and around that center area if that is our actual core so overall here definitely not impressed at all with this combination and something definitely did not quite work correctly out of this combination I don't think okay and here's the wad out of that shell and as you can see it's this firm blue plastic pretty typical not really anything too special there's nothing stuck down in there but if you can tell a couple of the tips of these pedals are curled up like they caught on something like the straight rifling in that choke which i'll talk about more in a second and show what i think actually happened here but definitely not immediately anything that i'm too concerned about but we definitely did see something go on with the tips of these pedals here but as for the rest no rips or tears and for the most part relatively even we did have this one pedal over here hang open a little bit but not anything that i would immediately be concerned about on this one but let me show you why i do think we saw what we saw today okay now we're looking at the little gas check base piece that sits under the wad and i'll probably have to take some closer up pictures of this for you to be able to see but on the sides here we can see the lines from the straight rifling in that choke and if you can tell 
they're not directly straight so that means that this wad combination was spinning a little bit as it went down the barrel and when it hit that straight rifling it was in a spin you can see the lines right there how they are clearly slanted off to the left so that tells me that this little shot cup was spinning as it was trying to leave the barrel and when it ran into that straight rifling it might have jumbled up our shot column a little bit more than what it should have so did the straight rifling help us or hurt us on this one I don't know I'll leave that up to y'all but definitely I'm suspicious of this because clearly we definitely had some spin on this whole unit coming out of the end of the barrel based on the lines we see here out of the straight rifling of that choke all right y'all well what did you think about that performance right there definitely I was hoping and kind of expecting to see a little bit better than that but that's just the way it goes sometimes some loads just don't perform through some chokes that's why you should always go out and test your setup before you actually take it out into the woods but either way this is definitely a mixed result at best and definitely not one that I would prefer to take out into the woods myself but let me know your thoughts about it is that about what you expected to see were you a little bit surprised and is that kind of your suspicions as well after seeing what that wad looks like and stuff like that that it might have actually hurt us having that straight rifling in there I don't know leave all your thoughts about it in the comments but with that being said, I've got a bunch more stuff coming y'all's way, so stay tuned. As always, we do have the channel Instagram as well as a mailbox where you can send stuff if you'd like. All of that information will be in the description for you if you're interested. But I'm going to get back to the testing, so I'll see y'all in the next one.